Unity, a cross-platform game engine for building 2D and 3D experiences, made famous for democratizing the immense challenge of game development. It was created in Copenhagen, Denmark, and first released in 2005. Today, it's the magic behind many popular games, like the 2D Among Us. <laughs> The 3D Monument Valley, augmented reality apps like Pokemon Go, first-person shooters like Escape from Tarkov, as well as interactive simulations and animations beyond the gaming industry. The engine itself is written in C++, but allows developers to write their code in the more approachable C Sharp. In addition, it provides a powerful graphical editor, allowing you to draw shapes, work with cameras, and apply materials without having to write a single line of code. Every game object can have a variety of components, like a mesh to define its actual physical shape, a mesh renderer to apply materials materials and lighting to an object, and physics components like rigid body and colliders that simulate things like gravity and collisions in the real world. And finally, you can extend an object with your own C-sharp code to make it do something interesting, like take hit points when it runs into a bad guy. To build your first video game right now, install Unity Hub, create a new project, then open up the editor. You'll be greeted with a 3D scene that contains a light source and a camera. A scene is like a game level that you're developing, while the camera is the point of view of the player. To create a game of dodge ball, let's add a plane to be the ground, a cylinder for the player, and a sphere for the ball. Select an object, then hit Y on your keyboard to move, rotate, and scale it to your liking. Hit the play button, and notice how these shapes don't do anything. But if we add a rigid body to the objects, all of a sudden, they're now impacted by the laws of gravity. Currently, they look pretty boring, but we can make them look cool by creating a material, and then drag it onto the shapes. And now, to make this game playable, let's add a script component to it, and then open it in VS Code. It contains a class with two methods to implement your code. Start is called once at the very beginning of the game, while update is called on every frame while the game is being played. And there's also fixed update that runs at the same frame rate as the physics engine. Now to move our player around, we can define a public property for the rigid body, which contains a bunch of different properties and methods to move the object around. Now assign an actual value from the game to that property by dragging the rigid body component to it in the editor. In the fixed update method, we can first use input to detect when a user presses the arrow keys, and then call the move position method on the rigid body to move it. Hit the play button, and you should now be able to move your player around. From there, we can add a script to the ball that will add force to it when the game starts to roll it across the screen. And we can also run code when the two objects collide by defining the onCollisionEnter method. Congratulations, you just built a video game. This has been Unity in 100 seconds. If you want to see more short videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see a full Unity tutorial in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.